Aviators is about embracing aviation in general, so it's really a, a catalyst or an entry for people to come and experience aviation in the way that we provide it here with the Yak 52, but also to get them thinking about their involvement in aviation, whether that might be to find out a little more about grandfather's history, whether it's about learning to fly themselves, whether it's about going to air shows, so really just to open their eyes to what aviation entails and, and how they might find their, their own personal interest drawn out by what we can provide as a, an entry level aviation experience here. It's a lot more real flying, so there's no push button, autopilot, uh, computer flying, it's all very hands on. Uh, Yak is an aeroplane used for fighter training. It was developed in Russia. Uh, the concept started back in the early 50s, but these aeroplanes were used to prep pilots for MiG-15s in time, and it would be that they simulated jet flight quite closely. And the the Yak-52 behind us cruises at about 250 kilometres an hour, or about 125 knots. It will have a top speed of up to 360, 380 kilometres an hour. Uh, the aeroplane is stressed to positive 8, minus 5, so it's extremely strong. Um, some people have said it's been overbuilt up to three times more than it needed to be, but the advantage of that was that for prepping for jet flight meant that the, the airframe is very strong for trainee pilots. We have a real passion to ensure that if people can't make it to us that we can provide an aeroplane or an experience close at home for them and I suppose that connects with our thought of back in the day the barnstorm was travelling between areas and back then it was a pretty fascinating subject. A lot of people hadn't seen aeroplanes before they arrived in their town. They'd circle above the airfield, spiral down into a paddock next to the township and the whole town would come out and see what was going on. So we're, we're really keen to connect with that. Um, our safety is that we take a lot of time with briefings to make sure that people are truly comfortable when they're in the aeroplane and that they know well what their requirements are, what they must be aware of in the air, uh, but also to make sure we take plenty of time with people. There's no, no hurry to have to jump in the aeroplane and go. So? Wow, that was amazing. It was so good. What was the, the best bit? Um, oh, best bit. When we're just hanging upside down, it was just incredible feeling. You just can't move. It's kind of pinned down and it's just, I don't know, <laughs> it was amazing. So Ben, how was it? Oh, unreal, unbelievable. I haven't had that much fun in a long time. Absolute blast. What was the best bit? 
Oh, it's hard to pinpoint anything, right. but barrel rolls are mad cool. <laughs> Our real passion is to make sure that they're a, a tailored experience, so there's no ride that you have to sign up for that you have to go and sit out, whether you like it or not. It's really about ensuring that people are in full communication with us, which they are in the aeroplane. We have a, a live intercom, so anything they say we can hear. And I think because we've done a lot of flights now, we've probably flown in excess of two and a half thousand people. We've really got nothing to prove. The aeroplane is a beautiful aeroplane for doing wild aerobatics or very mild aerobatics or just a nice adventure flight where you can go and have a look around, around Adelaide. So it's really about connecting with the person, what they'd like to take away from their experience and making sure that they don't feel like there's any pressure from us to have to do something that perhaps they're a little unsure about.